just as a little appendix, we're going to go ahead and install um, a USB DM. So, as of the time I make this video, which is July 8th, 2016, um, these are the correct um, files. Okay, as you can see, we have the USB DM drivers. It's important that you download the Windows X64 bit. Uh, you do want the signed versions, which are the later versions. Uh, it should be uh, this version or better. And uh, same goes with this. You do need to make sure they're somewhat uh, matched. All right, so I'm going to install the driver. And let's install the USB DM. Now, on this machine, I only have um, Code Warrior 5.1 installed. This is a Windows 10 64 bit installation. So, the important thing about this installer is it scans through all the Code Warriors you have installed, okay? And it finds the ones you have and highlights here. And since we only have 5.1, you can see it picks that up and is pointed here. So it's actually going to go ahead and uh, modify it. Now it's important that you install this after installing Code Warrior 5.1, not before. Otherwise, the steps are different. All right, that completed. Now, what we're going to do is plug in my USB DM. All right, I plugged it in. It's looking for the drivers. We'll let it do its thing. Okay. Now, if we right click on here, go to Device Manager. All right, let's check under Debugging Interface. There it is, USB DM. We don't have any uninstalled uh, problematic devices here. All right, it's important now that um, you check the version of your USB DM. If you bought this one, you need to make sure that the firmware is up to date. This is the first uh, step I like to do. So you want to go ahead and run the USB DM firmware updater. Now the first thing I like to do here is actually do a verify flash and this is going to fail if you don't have the newest version but what it does is make sure that you have the um, IDC drivers, ICP drivers, sorry. Now it's installing drivers here. See how that's happening? That's important. Now if we click verify again, it still fails, but you can see there's no drivers being installed. So now we're ready to update. Select automatically select firmware most of the time. Okay, sometimes programming will fail. Um, Check your USB cable, check your configuration. If you're running it in a VM, it might be a little hairy, uh, but go ahead and just um, try it again. Now, this is a really good example. It either worked or didn't work. In this case, it's kind of confused about the serial number. So just hit cancel, unselect. It should be pointed at the file that was right for you from before, but go ahead and change the serial number to something. Okay. All right, so we uh, updated the file. Um, in this case, for me, it was plugging it instead of directly into my computer, plugging it into a hub, uh, USB hub. So you never know. Sometimes things can be a little hairy. Anyway, the point is that we've updated the firmware now. 
And now that the firmware is updated, we are ready to do two things. If you just have software you want to program, um, you are ready to go. You can pick your HCS12 programmer um, if your device is powered up. Um, let's check out everything here. Oops, got this thing a little off the screen. Okay, so you can see it detected the chip, so it's talking to the uh, USB PDM, and you can see that the DLL version roughly matches the uh, PDM firmware version. So this is working. All right, now let's start Code Warrior. I'm gonna go ahead and run Code Warrior as administrator. All right, the thing to know about Code Warrior 5.1 and USB PDM. <sighs> All right, let's detect our device. Great, so there's our code. So that works. All right, 